Hello and welcome to this Minecraft 1.13 single player from Prism Marine Bay episode 5 I wanna say. Yeah! And I have finally found another fortress with a blaze spawner up here. It's terrifying stuff but I went in there and I got myself uh, some blaze rods before and um, I've also found some nether wart in this fortress and actually this place is very near where uh, we where we were in the stream in episode 4 uh, and I'll tell you one more thing there's two place spawners very near each other so that's interesting for the future that is but for now it's a little bit uh, dangerous so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back guys and uh, Today, today I'm hoping to set up some basic brewing and um, attack the Guardian Temple. That's our plan. Yeah, so this is the lava lake that we followed around in the stream. I don't know if you remember it, if you watched it. But just go in a little bit this way here. Um, and up here is the nether fortress. And uh, uh, yeah, of course, when you look at it like this, you can hardly see it. We must have just missed it, guys, when we were... Uh, you know, exploring, uh, but here it is. So yeah, I marked it out with a nice gate, and our base is just um, uh, this way. Uh, it's a fair, it's a fair walk. I'm not gonna lie, but it's not too terrible. Just in case I didn't mention it, we're on the new snapshot. It's a slight bit buggy, guys. It's a little bit buggy. I, I had a quite a few crashes um, on the stream, but yeah, we have the drowned, which is really nice, and we have the phantoms in the skies. And uh, of course, we still have regular zombies as well. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get this brewing lark underway, guys. Uh, I don't remember how to make a brewing stand, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Play sword and some some rocks. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a nice shiny texture. So uh, let's just chuck it up here for now. And. Uh, uh, we need one, we need a, a couple of blaze powder here for that. Right. Uh, no, not there. There. There we go. So that's charged. So then I suppose I need some glass bottles and things like that. Now the thing is, I thought we would make uh, sand. I thought we would make some uh, night vision potions and some underwater breathing potions. Where do I have sand? Uh, here. Some reason. It's a mess here already. Alright, guys, so we have planted that. And the rest we can use for potions for now. Uh, I have some glass, I think. Can I don't get the glass. Ah, there we go. And uh, yeah, I have some bad news. I have actually uh, downgraded the snapshot because it keeps uh, breaking on me. And uh, we can't have that really. So, and But it seems to be alright. Alright, man. Need actually to have water in these maybe. Do they float? Yes, they do. <laughs> and I can't even pick them up. That's a bit of a thing where they're not actually where they seem to be. Oh, I can't pick them up because of stuff. Uh, well, I need all this stuff. Just hold on a second, guys. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's put the brewing on and uh, talk a bit about strategy here, okay. Uh, so, you see the temple over there. I don't have any explosives, so I'm going to have to explore it the normal way. Uh, we shouldn't have any drowned in there for two reasons. First of all, I downgraded, <laughs> so there aren't any drowns anymore in, uh, in, the, in this uh, snapshot. Well, I'm sure they'll fix it quite soon, uh, Mojang, so then we'll re-upgrade again. And uh, secondly, because uh, uh, it's in a guardian temple, and nothing but guardians spawn in a guardian, guardian temple. I don't know if you knew that, but that's uh, that's the rule. Um, and I said about night vision potions before, but I uh, realized I don't have any carrots, so we're going to have to live without them. So we're going in, I think, with some strength potions and some night vision potions. And... Sorry, water breathing potions and strength potions. So let's get these fellas out of here. Take that out and uh, make a new lot. And make that strength, right? So strength is a blaze rod, so we can take that. And that's just to 
to kill the dudes a little bit faster. Now also I should uh, uh, prepare in the sense that I should put on some iron and uh, actually make some... Ah, that is annoying. When you shift click it doesn't go into the furnace anymore, it goes uh, into your inventory. It's a bit of a nuisance. Um, yeah, so we'll have strength potions, iron gear, maybe a diamond sword actually. We'll see uh, if we have diamonds for that. And then uh, night vision, sorry, underwater breathing, and that's about it. And we're gonna have to go in through the front entrance, so I'm gonna have to scout it out a little bit. And uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I think we'll do? I think we'll run this uh, real time with some music, guys. Let's cue that.
guys, that was a bit of a disappointment. There were no Elder Guardians. Look at this fish. <laughs> In the bubbles. There were no Elder Guardians there. And I thought long and hard about why that was. And uh, it is actually because um, I installed the new snapshot and I had problems. So I had to turn uh, um, the game mode in the stream there. I had to turn the game mode to, uh, to peaceful. And that must have killed the Elder Guardians. That is rubbish. I don't like that. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll take it though. I'll take it. I'm sure we will uh, face other Elder Guardians. Later in our career here in this world, I did find sponges, which is awesome, as you can see. And uh, I think we had an exciting adventure anyway. But what I think we'll do next here is I'll dry these things out, and then we'll go in and uh, lay dry a, a bit of the temple anyway, and, and have a little look at it in closer detail. All right, so I think what we'll do is we'll go down from the from the top. And uh, try and dry out a couple of rooms anyway here. Let's see how it goes. You guys. Bugger off. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Crikey me. I'm almost dead. There we go. So, let's see. This will reduce spawns as well, so that's nice. And hopefully we'll get some stuff as well. Now the thing is though, it'll be dark in here because of this. Like I said uh, before, it's much lighter underwater than it is over water nowadays. Which is kind of a weird one, to be honest. Uh, Alright, so let's, uh, let's just put that there for now. Let's see where we're at here. With the water levels. Yeah, I'm not too good at using these sponges yet, but I uh, suspect that I will become really good at it before this uh, series is over. Because <laughs> they are super handy. Let's see, let's. I need water uh, walker or whatever it's called. Water strider. Death strider. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. So here's our like our incision into the, into the world of. That is going to be our base later on. I love these temples, they're really cool. So now, let's see, let's put one there. <laughs> uh, this is going pretty well. So if we just keep going downwards, I think we'll be fine. And we sort of have a pillar in the middle here that we can extend from later on. Uh, let's see, there maybe? Yeah. And then we can just block this off for now. And then go down like this. I have a furnace and coal with me as well, so I can. Uh, Adapt. Why did that not take out more of that? Well, sometimes I don't understand these things. Probably, I, I suspect. How about there? No? Huh. Okay. Excellent. So I can block off over here. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, we have seven left. That might be enough for this room. Which I suspect is near the bottom here. Maybe not actually though. Hello. Ow. How about that? Yeah, put pillars up guys. That's how you... Uh, the easiest way really to get rid of these feathers. Are drying, of course. Wow, the water streams are really annoying now. <laughs> Oop, I'm dying. Let's eat. And I apologize for the darkness, I forgot to bring torches. I'm lost in my own temple. <laughs> 
But we have all this stuff got done now, done now, which is really cool. So I can just pillar up here, get the sponges, and then rinse and repeat, really. Rinse and repeat. That's the uh, model, really, that I'm going to go for. And I think, guys, that I will do this uh, clearing off camera and off between episodes because uh, it's not that fun to watch. And then uh, hopefully next time we can come back and look at the dried out temple. Uh, but before I go, I uh, I want to share roughly what I intend with this place, right? The sort of the grand scheme of things, if you will. Um, I want to uh, make dry the interior, like I've already said. Uh, but I don't necessarily want to um, dry out the exterior, okay? So this is not going to be like the most efficient farm in the history of mankind. Uh, because, uh, oh yeah, and there is going to be a farm in here. There is going to be a farm in here, for sure. Uh, but, it's going to be... Um, ow. <laughs> it's going to be a farm that is good enough for single player. Does that make any sense? Because uh, my, my experience is that if you do farms that are too good in a single player world, that just takes up unnecessary time and you put in tons of effort into it. And you never really need farms that are that efficient in single player. Not, not in my experience anyway. But for some things you might. So for those things in that case we will make better farms. But uh, as a general rule... Sufficient is enough. I, I much prefer small and simple and uh, nice to. Um, that was weird. What was there water there for? Until I removed the the, the uh, sponge. Yeah, small and uh, uh, and nice and and cool rather than super efficient and over the top. That's that's my motto. I think. Surely this is the top. Oh yeah, here we are. So that's uh, that's the idea, and then in here we're gonna make quite a lot of changes to the architecture. We're gonna take uh, texture. We're gonna remove a lot of these blocks so that we open up the place and and uh, combine rooms, break down walls basically, so that we get more bigger open areas. Uh, and then we're gonna build a little guardian farm in here, like I said already. And uh, several other little farms as well, I think. Uh, just like uh, food farms and, and uh, things like that. It's going to be, this is going to be our main base, basically. The rest of the space, we're going to have fun with. And also, the, when it comes to the exterior, we're going to do some uh, quite massive changes to this temple as well. Uh, think Atlantis. Think Atlantis, guys. But, that is have to, going to have to do it for tonight. <laughs> I have to swim away from here now. So that dude's in my boat, and they're gonna hit me. Best eat. Ooh, ink. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs> I love the swimming animation with the shield uh, on, on my hand as well. <laughs> it's awesome.